Hi, I'm Andrew from the Food Good channel. If you thought that pizza ovens were just for cooking pizzas, you might be wrong. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a steak using a high temperature pizza oven. Stay tuned to find out how. Cooking steak in a high temperature pizza oven gives you a fundamentally different result than cooking in a frying pan, in an oven, or even a barbecue. The sort of temperatures that you can achieve in a pizza oven up around 500 degrees Celsius is about 150 degrees higher than using a high-end barbecue with the lid closed. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do that. It's a very simple process. I've got some porterhouse steak. And the first thing you want to do is just pat that all pat that dry. It's at room temperature. It's been out of the fridge for a couple of hours. So it's nice and dry. Now we'll be cooking this at 500 degrees with an open flame. So there's going to be quite a bit of splatter. Um, and we might just cut off a little bit of the excess fat. You want some of the fat cap, but we don't need all of it. So all we want to do then, it's not a bad thickness, it's not too thick and it's not too thin. We want to grab some some olive oil and I might do this on the plate. So we just simply put a bit of olive oil on, rub that in and put it all over. This is a really simple recipe. Then we're just going to put a whole lot of salt and pepper. So you're trying to crust it with as much of this as possible. This crust is not going to over flavour it, it's just going to, um, most of it will come off, but it just helps to give it a crust when it's, when it's cooking. So we're going to be using a wrought iron skillet, you can use a cast iron one, but wrought iron is good because it's less than half the weight of a, um, of, um, a cast iron skillet. And the other thing is if you are using a cast iron skillet, I recommend using just a flat bottom, not one with ribs in it. Um, because what we're going to be doing to this is we're going to be adding a whole lot of butter and some, some uh, garlic and thyme and rosemary. And it's just a whole lot easier to baste when you don't have those ribs in the way. So we'll, we'll get a nice, so this is good, we just coat it nicely with all this sort of stuff. And that is kind of ready to go. What we need to do is Get the other ingredients ready. I'll show you what to do with those in a moment. So I'll put that aside. Get my unsalted butter. So get some cloves of garlic. I like to use a few in there. So let's just use four. We just want to give them a bit of a squash. I'm not going to use that one. Just take the skin off. So these will be ready to go. So just, you want all that flavour to come out. So I'm going to put those in a little dish. It's ready for that. Cut up some butter. And I 
do want quite a bit of butter in this. And just cut that into little pieces. It makes it melt quicker when it goes into the pan. Let me just put a little bit more in there, just, just in reserve. So what I'm going to be using today is an uni coder, a little small gas-fired pizza oven. It cooks, so the internal temperature's up around the 500 degree mark. And it's a great oven for cooking things, obviously like pizza, that's what it's made for. But at that temperature, we can cook some really nice steak and uh, you'll get to see exactly how that how that works. So we get some of these. So we'll break off some of this. Put that in there. It'll do. It's got a really fragrant smell, that rosemary, a little bit of thyme. That should do it. Just put those aside. Grab a bowl for those. Take those out. We'll go out to the, um, to the to the pizza oven. I'm in the process of heating up the uni coda to cook the steaks. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my wrought iron skillet in and give that a bit of a warm up for a few minutes. Um, we'll give that about three minutes or so until it gets pretty hot, and then we'll come back and I'll put the steak in there and we'll start cooking the steak. One thing you have to remember is that these handles can get rather hot. I think that handle at the moment is 110. Actually, no, sorry. Yeah, about 110 degrees. So you need to try and keep something on there to remind you all the time that it is actually uh, quite hot, otherwise you'll burn yourself. We're looking for, we're up to about 270 degrees Celsius, approaching 300 pretty quickly. Just want a bit over 300 to start with. I've got the Unicoder uh, set to maximum. Just put that back. And also you don't want to put that too close because that might start burning. So I've just got it on the edge. Don't want that to fall off. We just want that there so that we can actually grab that handle without burning. So I've got my steak ready. I'm just heating up the pan and soon we'll be uh, able to start cooking the steak. So our temperature's up uh, well over 330 degrees. So I'm going to use that now. We get a bit of smoke here, and this is when all the action starts. So I'm going to put that in there, and we'll stick that back in. And we'll do that for around three minutes or so. Been in there for a few minutes. Let's just take that out and you can see there's a bit of quite a bit of crust on quite a nice sort of uh, browning there. Turn that over, just give it a little bit more time. Uh, it's looking pretty good, so I'm just going to stick that there for a moment. And then what we'll do is we are going to put in, I'm going to turn the heat down on the coder. I'm going to just go to low. Yeah, start putting in some of this butter. more. Put our garlic pieces. Put our sprig of rosemary and thyme. So what we do here 
So we start basting, we get all these nice juices happening. Just baste that a little bit. And we'll put that back in for a moment. We're gonna make sure that doesn't catch fire. That would be bad. It's on low. So we'll keep an eye on this. It's not gonna be in there for very long. So the heat in there is on low at the moment. And that's a bit of smoke. We're getting quite nice. All right, so we'll take that out. and put it there for the moment. Actually, I'm gonna take steak. Just let that rest right there. Let that sit there. We're gonna use these juices. Use all that in a moment, that'll just be really nice on top. So we just give that a few minutes to rest. So it's pinkish inside in the middle and fairly well cooked on the outside. That could have used a little bit less time cooking, but it just shows you how fast this takes, or how fast cooking in here, you know, how fast you can cook a steak in here. So let's just move this off here. Spoon. Go now to to this. We've got. Let's get these sprigs out. So you can put some of this on. And we've got some of the rosemary. Some of the thyme. Some of the rosemary. little bit of that sauce over that. Now this has got the salt and the pepper in it and the garlic and the rosemary and the thyme flavours. You really don't need anything else. Now let's try a piece. Mm. Super tender and that's super flavourful. This is a really great way to cook steak. Sorry, I'm enjoying this so much. That's really good. Um, this is Andrew from the Food Good channel, showing you how to make steak with your uni coda. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, um, and hit the, um, yeah, hit all those buttons, like, share, subscribe, and do some comments or something down the bottom. Tell us what you think. Um, tell us uh, how you found, um, how easy you found it to cook, or how hard you found it to cook the steak. See you later.